I was playing with my Lost in Space robot kit and uh, love it with all my heart. This show came out when I was a little kid, still to this day one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And I just love this kit and I never could bear to put it together. I know that the minute I, the minute I assemble it and put it together and glue it all together, uh, it just won't be as fun to me. I really learned a tremendous amount about injection molding and just molding in general. So I've always kept it in pieces. From time to time, I take it out and look at it. Playing with this kit gave me the idea for this video. Look how complex this model is. Clearly, the only way you could build something like this, mold it and cast it, is to do it in pieces. And yet, I get projects that are sent to me that are every bit as complicated as this kit. So I thought, maybe this kit is a good way to think about it. Maybe this is a, 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 an idea that if it sticks in your head, it'll help you design your pieces better. And the idea is simply this. When you design a piece for casting, think of it as a kit. Don't think of it as a sculpture that you're then going to cast. Think of it as a kit. Think of it as you're designing it. From the sketches outward, you want to be thinking about how does each piece fit together? How would each piece, if say it's a figure, how would, how would you cast the head and the face? How would you cast the torso? How would you cast the arms, the hands, the fingers? How would you cast that stuff? If you're thinking about casting the pieces as you design them, then you have a much better chance of making a sculpture that you can actually cast. If you just design a really cool, incredibly elaborate, fun piece, and you give no thought at all to how you're going to cast it, that's when you, <laughs> that's when, that's when you write to me. You say, look at my sculpture. Look what I made. How do I cast it? I can't figure it out. Well, I can't figure it out either. The only thing I can tell you is uh, you should have broken it apart or now you need to break it apart to cast it. Admittedly, it's a lot harder to think about the casting process while you design the piece and then sculpt a piece for the casting process because instead of just making a wire armature and building a sculpture and doing all that stuff, you got to think about where the seams are, how each piece is going to be assembled, how each piece will cast, where the parting lines are going to be, where the screw is going to be, where the vent's going to be. It's definitely more difficult to work that way. <laughs> I know that because not very many people do it, but it's really essential because virtually every single person that sends me a project via email to look at and to help them with, there's really nothing I can say except tear it apart, break it apart into pieces. Uh, it's just it's just impossible to cast in a single piece. A perfect example of this is this piece, which I did in a video a couple of years ago. If you haven't seen it, there's a link up above in the card, and also I'll put a link in the description down below. They sent me this piece, and I told them it's impossible to cast. It's just there's so much trapped space, so many holes. It's just impossible. So they sent me the digital file and I was able to design where the pieces should be separated into separate individual parts. And there's like one, two, three, four, five or six separate parts. Again, go watch that video and you'll see the whole process and how it got done. But that is the only way to, to take a piece that's this complex and make a casting of it. It's just not possible to do it any other way. This piece was designed by the manufacturer as a kit but I took all the parts and set it up for resin casting. So it casts like this, pour the resin, flow down to the bottom and rise up and everything's in perfect position to cast and fill perfectly. So that's another example of why it's advantageous to think about the piece while you're designing it for casting. By doing that you have a chance to have a piece that can be cast like this one was in a single pour. So the take-home lesson is make a kit if you start with an idea of making parts, you have a chance of making a piece that you can actually cast successfully in resin. Hey, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, watch this video next. I have a Patreon if you want to support the channel. Link to that is down below. And there's also a super thanks button down below for a one-time contribution. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.